Hello there YouTubers and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today we are going to take a look at some of the new C64 software that I got, that I found at the dump. Now for this we are going to use my original C64, the one with the convenient reset button. And I'm going to zoom up close to the screen so that we can see what's going on. Alright, this might not be the greatest camera angle of all, but this way I'm hopefully not getting into trouble because of showing any pictures of software. Now, we've already tried that froggy game. I'm now going through this uh, case of uh, floppy disks. And I guess first of all we're going to take a look at the Commodore demo disk, the way it probably was originally without the froggy game on it. So I'm going to turn on the C64 and there we go and I'm now going to load up the demo disk. Run! And there we are. It's just a very very plain thing that's why I was so surprised to uh, get that uh, fancy froggy screen on the first demo disc that we've tried. Here just uh, there are just some uh, some text things as you can see. There is some software on this floppy disk. The problem is that I don't have the exact commands to load that exact um, software. This is just a description and I guess it's getting boring now so I just want to Reset this whole thing and choose another disk. We are now loading a program called Word and file not found error. That's good. The guy who created this floppy disk made a note that you should load the program, um, that the program to load was called Word, as you can see right there. So, anyway, I'm going to go with, I uh, guess we first got to reset this whole thing. And then I'm going to go load whatever date. See what happens. Ouch. Ouch. All right. Okay, I guess we are going to give up on that one, and I'm going to try something else. We are now going to see what's going on on one of these Memorex floppies, which says Magic Power. Let's see if we can find any Magic Power. Oh, that seems promising. Run! Oh, syntax error in line... One nine four five nine. All right. Seems like the magic power doesn't have too much of a uh, too much magic going on. We are now going to have a look at one of these floppies that came with a user magazine for C64 users. The magazine was called Input 64. So, well, let's see if there is any input left on this disc. File not found error. Hmm. That looks a lot like a blank disk, doesn't it? On this floppy disk drive there should be something going on with Donald Duck and Miami Vice. So, let's see. Ouch. I guess that's not going to work. Nope. Maybe if we try a different command. Here we go. It says loading. And it says ready. Of course it's a couple of minutes later now, let's tell it to run the program. 
Hmm. All right. I guess I'm going to choose beginner. Come on. Well, it seems like this program doesn't work quite right. I have tried a bunch of stuff to uh, access the game, but even with a joystick and pressing all buttons on the C64, it just doesn't react. So, won't even if I even I can even hit the run and stop button, and it won't show any signs of life. So, guess I'll have to go with the reset button. All right, seems like Miami Vice can be found on the first side of the floppy disk. Maybe the second side is just blank. It is loading right now. And run. Had a couple of difficulties here, but this time it should hopefully work. Swiss Cracking Association brings to you Miami Vice. Imported, shattered, cracked and compacted. Back in 1986. Let's start it. And as you can as you can hear, we're having some nice music there. Okay, guess you've heard enough of that. Now I want to go ahead and start the actual game, or at least I hope that I can start the actual game. Oh, I guess I'm driving backwards. Ouch. Okay, as you can see, I crashed there. Oh, okay, I guess you don't want to hit the sides of the road as well. Ouch! That was not good. Oh, that wasn't good either. I know I'm driving backwards, and that was the end of that. You can clearly tell I'm not too much uh, into gaming, especially not with a joystick. Anyway, now let's go ahead and try another game. I've repositioned the camera a little bit. Let's run it. Hmm. to play poker. Not a little bit. So, huh. don't know. Okay, bet. I raise you 20. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing here, but uh, all right. Raise. 
20. I call one, two, hmm. I'm gonna go with one. I can turn all the cards around, but uh... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Whoops. F1 takes the thing away. Uh, that's definitely a very good um, reproduction of a photograph. All right, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so we're just going to go and uh, do a reset and we are going to try another floppy disk.